the cheapest way that we can get from Seminyak to Ubud is by taking a grab. So we're gonna try and do that and uh, just hope that we don't run into any troubles with with anybody. <laughs> it's <is> so good. <laughs> So it's another warm start to the day in Bali, but it's definitely pretty overcast, so. Yeah, it's quite muggy. Like, you can feel it's a really wet peak compared to um, Thailand. It definitely is, yeah. We're noticing that more and more, like, every single day. But it is rainy season, and we've been lucky with that not raining, so we'll uh, we'll take that. So today's main plan is we're heading to Ubud, which is, um, it's north? Yeah, it's an hour and a half north of Seminyak. Yeah. Um, it's, the, it's the super chill version. If you've seen our recent videos on in Thailand it's sort of the equivalent spot there um, it seems everywhere north is like the casual spot yeah anyway the chilled out vibes <laughs> um, so before we do that and actually did we mention the place that we're staying in in Ubud is like I think we mentioned it yesterday and the fact oh, that did, I've been researching right. it for a long time <laughs> so we're, we cannot wait to get there but before we do that it's uh, it's only about eight o'clock now we're gonna go and quickly um, get a coffee at a place called Sisterfields Sister checking out in a couple of hours but in the meantime we've just come back up to the rooftop here um, today's gonna be interesting because I don't think we've mentioned that we mentioned in one of the other videos that um, there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a taxi mafia in Bali so you do have to be careful about the taxis that you do get to make sure that you only go with the bluebird group so that you're on the meter um, but then also grab and uber which are common everywhere else in the world and in Asia um, sort of I don't know if outboard is the right word but they're not sort of they're not super yeah super accepted um, but today the cheapest way that we can get from Seminyak to Ubud is by taking a grab so we're gonna try and do that and uh, just hope that we don't run into any troubles with with anybody I mean we've heard some some interesting stories about grab drivers getting into trouble from the taxi drivers as well so and we've seen signs every now and then around different places that we've walked around and it sort of says like Uber with a big cross through it, grab with a big cross through it so We'll see how that goes, but we're just back up on the rooftop now where, we're, um, where we came for breakfast the other morning. Um, just catching up on a little bit of work and stuff and just looking out across how like condensed this Seminyak area is. So this is the rooftop we showed the other day and other than this one spot right here that hasn't been built on, all of these, actually that's probably not a good example that side, but there's villas, there's a villa down there. All of these places, all of these little rooftops and everything that you can see are all in over the back there all of those individual roofs are just like little private villas generally with like swimming pools and everything so um, there's lots of spots around here and then over this side as well don't know if we can zoom through one of these holes <laughs> it's a bit creepy looking through there but through there as well you can just hear there's loads of other villas this grab situation managed to get the drone up as you, as you would have just seen some of you guys have been asking why there hasn't been any drone footage from Thailand in the last few videos leading up to this the main reason was like in Thailand now you have to register sorry you have to register your drone and otherwise it's illegal to fly and we hadn't gone through that process you have to go to a police station and all this and stuff we didn't do it so it was cool to get the drone up for, for a change anyway um, we wanted to grab a little bit of a something a little bit cheaper some cheap beats before we head off to Ubud so we've come to a place called the pantry 
um, and we just ordered some, uh, we, what we thought would just be very basic sandwiches, and then we sat for like 20 minutes while they like got out and like roasted their like uh, bacon, and it's got like wedges and everything, and they look absolutely delicious. This is just inside the uh, Semenyang Square, and it looks like there's like little little grocery element and stuff to it as well, so we're just gonna have some food first, and then we're gonna go in, uh, try and try and get a grab. So we finally managed to get into an Uber. It took, was it was a little bit difficult, like we thought it might be that we had two cancellations before we finally got a driver, just for various reasons. One of them tried to negotiate more as well. Um, so I think we I think the trip itself probably should take about an hour, an hour to an hour and a half. It's only about 25 k's, is that right? Tw about 25 kilometers to get to Ubud, but the roads are so small and the traffic is, is pretty bad around here. Um, but we're hoping it only takes about an hour anyway. So we've just got in, we've just started on the journey. Uh, I think we head up, there's a lot of like rice fields and everything along the way as well. So if you can try and capture some of those. And it has just started to rain. So our timing was good to get in, but that's not really, not really ideal. arrived that uh that uber was interesting the guy took a photo of me at one stage he secretly got his phone out and he held it on his ankle hopefully he was just like snapchatting a friend or something but that came to 159,000, which is a lot cheaper like less than half of what we were quoted by other people so we gave him a little bit of extra money for uh for petrol as well <laughs> we've just arrived at origin and uh yeah already a little bit blown away Just been welcomed into like the beautiful open plan reception lounge, I think they call it. Yeah. Um, it's not like a traditional one where there's like the reception. Front, like a front desk. Th thing. Yeah, there's no front desk. It's very like lounging mm. and it's all uh, like our kind of style. So yeah, definitely. Apparently it was done by an architect from Singapore and it is on point. Yeah, we it's love like it. an architect's dream, isn't it? It's like my dream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, everyone we've already met has been so amazing and so lovely and so welcoming. Um, and I keep looking down here because we've just had some um, welcome sorbet put down in front of us. <laughs> Can life get any better? <laughs> <laughs> it is so good. <laughs> I've never been anywhere that you get complimentary sorbet when you check in. Such a nice touch. I think they said it was dragon, dragon fruit. Really? Yeah. Wow, I've never even heard of dragon fruit sorbet. It's very good. Downstairs is a one bedroom full pillar. Wow. Yeah. Yes. And they're all just built into the hill like this? Yes. Perfect. It's also a cabana. We uh, Hello. Hello. can be three bedroom full pillar. Wow. Yeah, that is will be enough for 11 person, maybe if group or family come. Yeah, wow. it can be because we can open the connecting. Amazing. Yes. Thank <laughs> you. Well, and later on, also our therapist will come and then we'll give you a little bit um, welcome as us on your shoulder. Ten wow. until 15 minutes. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This is a little bonus. Did you know about this? No, I had no idea. <laughs> I'm very happy about it. <laughs> okay, we've <laughs> we've come into our room, and this place is like 
what dreams are made of. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow or in the next video that you guys watch, we will make like a conscious a conscious effort to show just how yeah. stunning this place is. Um, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> yeah, it's very rare that we're like completely like speechless, but um, it's just beautiful. We uh, <laughs> we didn't go anywhere. Oh, it's our pizza and beer thing again. It's our pizza and beer thing again. Yeah, you're right. It's starting. It, it, uh, we're continuing it on. We're starting at a new boat. Um, it did start to rain a lot after we last filmed, and we were just like just relaxing, listening to the sound of the rain. And the bathroom is super cool as well because it's got like an open area right next to the bathtub. Um, but we'll share all of that in the next video. But for now, uh, we're just relaxing here tonight. I think we're just so comfortable with beer, pizza, and uh, taking it easy. And something here, I don't know what this is, some random little uh, Sengate it's called. A little dessert, did she say? Yeah, it's a dessert made from sweet potatoes, though, a traditional barley thing. Anyway, I'm drawing that out, and we've talked a lot about this place already, considering we were like trying to save it for tomorrow, <laughs> so we will save it for tomorrow. Um, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the comments. Bye. Bye. I actually didn't know what to say. Neither did I. <laughs>